Capture the flag. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Wizbucket HD here, and today I've got some Capture the Flag gameplay for you. Uh, Halo 4. Promised you guys some multiplayer gameplay yesterday, so uh, this is what I got for you. Pretty good gameplay. I get the sniper up here and get a quick double kill right off the start. As you'll see here, there's one, and here comes the second. This guy is even playing. All right. Um, the sniper in this game is pretty good. You will notice a slight difference though from the other Halo games. It seems like it actually has like a little bit of recoil almost. So that if once you get that first shot off, you have to re-aim to get your second shot. Uh, if that makes sense. Now. Uh, the battle rifle is probably the best um, starting out loadout that you can have. The DMR is pretty good, but that's for only long range. I find it really good at long range, but at close range, the DMR is pretty bad, I think. Uh, it's just hard to get the headshots with it at close range. And so I go with the BR, which is kind of a mix between, you know, close range and a long range weapon. Uh, I use the DMR if I'm on a long range map, if I'm on a close quarters, I use the assault rifle, or if I'm just feeling like I want to be in between, I'll use the battle rifle. Um, anyways, this gameplay is pretty fun, actually, the, the game itself, it's gameplay. Uh, it's, it takes time to get used to, though, I'll, I will admit that. It is a lot different from all the other Halo games, uh, that's the honest truth. It is a lot different than all the other Halo games, and... A lot of people like it, a lot of people don't like it. I think that once everybody gets used to it, uh, they'll start liking it more, the people that don't. Uh, that's at least what's been with me. Uh, at the beginning, I hated it. I didn't know what to do. But now, after about two games, I knew exactly what to do. It came all back to me. And um, it's similar to the other Halos, just the loadout system and the ranking up and how you get like armor and stuff. It's a little bit different. You have to do a lot of uh, accommodations and stuff like that. And the customization in this game is really a big part of the uh, the multiplayer experience. You can customize your stance. Uh, your visor color comes actually default blue, which is cool. But you can customize that to, I think I've got the green and the purple that changes to like red. That's pretty cool. When you like turn away, it actually turns to red or purple. And that's pretty cool. Also, you get all your armor, like uh, the side things, the torso, and the head as well. Uh, a lot of these come in packages when you get a combination master of some sort of challenge. So, for example, the assassination uh, master, you get this really cool helmet. I don't know the name of it offhand, but that's what I'm going for now. And also, when you do the splatter combination master, you get the green visor color. So I'm also trying for that. Uh, I hope to get that by tomorrow, probably. And I'll have some more gameplay up for you guys tomorrow as well. And the game modes on this game, I was a little bit disappointed. Um, there, there really isn't that much of a, of a, I don't know. There's, there's uh, three slayers that I know of. There's Infinity Slayer, Big Slayer and the Slayer Pro. Now, I, what I was really hoping for is that SWAT would be back, but I, I there's no SWAT. I don't know if they're planning on bringing it back or maybe that that'll be just something that is a thing of the past, really. But I know a lot of people enjoyed SWAT and that a lot of people love to have SWAT back. So I really do hope 343 brings that back. And the Griff Ball is not in here either, I don't believe, and that was always pretty fun to play, and I mean, a lot of people enjoyed that too. It's not really for competitive gameplay, but just more on the fun side. Uh, but that's pretty much all I have to say right now about the game types themselves, otherwise it's pretty fun. And as you know, some you are allowed to use your loadouts, other ones you're not, but the loadouts, they really, you can only use a few guns. It's not like you can just make rocket launcher and fuel rod cannon as your thing. You can't do that because that'd be definitely OP. So I really enjoy this game so far. Uh, the whole thing, campaign, multiplayer. I have not had a chance to get the Spartan Ops gameplay yet, but I will hope to get some Spartan Ops gameplay for you guys next week. And uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.